Hey everybody, Tim here with today's episode of Star Trek Deep Space Nine, Season 6, Episode 9, Statistical Probabilities. You have no idea how many times I had to rehearse that to say it. I have trouble with the word statistics. Um, anyway, this this is a really good episode. It is kind of a little bit of a sequel to the previous episode, Dr. Prashir, I presume. In that one, we find out that Julian is actually an enhanced person. And if you watch that review, I talk about like how they bring up the eugenics war and con and how basically being genetically enhanced is just, it's against the law. And ever since that episode, Julian has been more able to be himself. Like he's super quick at math, almost as fast as the computer. Um, when he and O'Brien play darts, he has to stand way, way back because he can just get a perfect score every single time. Stuff like that. And stuff like that comes back in this one. So in this episode, we meet four different characters who have been institutionalized because they were also enhanced, but for whatever reason, their enhancements didn't quite work as well. And so they're, they're mentally ill, essentially. And this is the first time we've really encountered something like that in Star Trek. And you just kind of watch them like Jack has trouble talking and the woman is just trying to seduce Julian the whole time. One of them doesn't speak at all. Um, it's a really interesting episode to watch Julian who has basically become this exception. He is not only enhanced, but he basically managed to embrace it, whereas other people, it kind of drove them a little mad, a little mentally ill. And throughout this episode, we watch them, like, they can hear things that nobody else can hear, and they're able to read, like, emotions and little ticks and stuff like that, because at one point, the Cardassian does, like, a... Uh, a broadcast and just watching him they're like oh this is going on and this is going on like they don't know who this guy is but they can read everything about him just by watching his broadcast so it's it's really interesting to kind of watch how they interpret things and then as the episode progresses they figure out that uh the federation is going to lose the battle and like 900 billion people are going to die and julian takes these numbers to cisco and is like we have to surrender we're gonna lose and cisco's basically like fuck that and like brushes it aside and julian's just like he's overwhelmed because he knows that we're going to lose now and the, the, the group kind of come up with a different plan where only 200 billion will die. So now it becomes one of this, how many lives does it take? So they knock Julian out because they want to meet with Wei Yun to basically surrender. But the girl who doesn't talk basically comes to the rescue because she's been in love with Jack the whole time, throws out the whole thing, and Julian and Odo are basically able to stop these guys before they surrender for us. And Jack is like, no, you're going to get us all killed if you don't do this. And Brashear says, like, this one girl that you didn't account for stopped this whole thing and saved 900 billion people. Like, your statistics might be right, but you did, you can't account for all of the, the misnomers, all the flaws in the system, and somebody might surprise you. Overall, I thought it was a really good episode to kind of show how in war you have to try to expect the unexpected and how you can't just go by the numbers you because you can't quantify like people's will to survive. So for those who have seen this one, what did you think about it? What did you think about the plotline of mental illness? Did you think Star Trek did a good job with it or not? Go ahead. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for everything. And I will see you guys next time for the Magnificent Ferengi.